at the beginning of the trachea. He, he explained this. Hmm? At the beginning of trachea, we have larynx. Larynx is the voice box. In case of amphibians, first time they saw larynx, pioneers of voice production, amphibians. But again, when you see reptiles, larynx is poorly developed. But the mammals which have come from reptiles, larynx is better developed and it produces voice, so it's called as voice box. The human larynx, the human larynx is made up of nine cartilages. It includes one thyroid cartilage. Includes one epiglottis. Includes one cricoid. Three unpaid cartilages. There are also a pair of arytenoids. Two arytenoids are present. There are also a pair of two corniculate cartilages. Corniculate cartilages also called Santorini cartilages. There are also a pair of cuneiform cartilages. Cuneiform cartilages too. Corniculate cartilages too. Arytenoids too. So totally there is, there are six paid cartilages. There are three unpaid cartilages. Thyroid, epiglottis and cricoid. So six plus three totally there is a nine cartilages. That is the structure of Larynx. That is the thyroid cartilage. A dorsal view, ventral view. I am seeing from the dorsal view. When you see from the side, thyroid more or less, it is like that. This is the ventral side, this is the ventral side, this is the dorsal side. Hmm? Dorsal, ventral. So this side, dorsal side is this side and this side is this side and this is the lateral side so when you see this is the thyroid cartilage thyroid cartilage is present at the level of C4 and C5 fourth and fifth cervical vertebrae at the level of that vertebrae you will see thyroid cartilage uh, anteriorly and posteriorly it has got the thyroid cartilage is having horns. Superior horns. Inferior horns. So you can see horns here and here. Superiorly, inferiorly you will see cornua also called horns. The superior horns are connected by a ligament to a hyoid bone. Hyoid bone is present at the bottom of the buccal cavity. At the bottom of buccal cavity you can see hyoid bone. So from here up to hyoid bone there is a ligament. It is called thyrohyoid ligament. So by that ligament it is attached to hyoid bone. Whereas the inferior horns they are articulated with the cricoid. Now, the thyroid is the largest cartilage 
and it is actually made up of two halves made up of hyaline cartilage two halves of hyaline cartilage both of that both of that halves they come and meet with each other so you can see coming and meeting with each other and at the anterior side it is swollen midventrally it is swollen it is called laryngeal prominence also called adam's apple is also called adam's apple so you can see that projection midventrally anteriorly more clear in case of males than in case of females and thyroid is the largest cartilage it is complete laterally as well as ventrally but on the dorsal side it is incomplete the second cartilage is the cricoid so that's the cricoid the cricoid is a ring cricoid means ring like cartilage it is also made up of hyaline cartilage so it is present at the level of c6 six cervical vertebra and the inferior horns are articulated with the cricoid the cricoid forms the inferior most part of larynx and it also becomes the superior most ring of trachea trachea has got 15 to 20 rings this is the only ring which is complete all other rings are incomplete rings which is made up of hyaline cartilage so cricoid is at the level of c6 now we also have a pair of arytenoids and uh, one epiglottis epiglottis is attached here so that is epiglottis epiglottis originates from thyroid cartilage it is a spoon shaped cartilage it is made up of elastic cartilage covered by a mucous membrane and th this area roughly this area is glottis so epiglottis covers the glottis so this, this this is the larynx so you can see that opening there that's the that's the that's the glottis and so this epiglottis covers the glottis whenever food is coming into laryngopharynx and then attached to cricoid we have a pair of cartilages the pair of cartilages which are triangular or pyramidal in structure they are small in size the base is made up of hyaline cartilage the tip is made up of elastic cartilage it has got broad base and pointed apex these are called arytenoids they are called arytenoids now it is they are pyramidal arytenoids are pyramidal in structure they have got three sides and the broad base so they are attached like that so the arytenoids are attached to cricoid cartilage now attached to arytenoids the arytenoids are one pair of cartilages attached to arytenoids you will see at the tip you will see corniculate cartilages corniculate cartilages cornua cornua means horns so you can see them horn like the corniculate cartilages are made up of elastic cartilage and they are present at the tip of arytenoids and they are horn like cornua means horn like hmm? now just above that just above and anterior to corniculate cartilages you will see a pair a pair of cuneiform cartilages cuneiform cartilages cuneiform cartilages they are like this they are they they are club shaped cartilages club shaped when i say club shaped at the base they are narrow at the tip they are broad now simply you can say them to be wedge shaped cartilages they are also made up of elastic cartilage they are present little anterior and little above the corniculate cartilages 
Corniculate cartilages, previously that we discussed, they are made up of elastic cartilage. Cuneiform cartilages are also made up of elastic cartilage. The corniculate cartilages are also called as Santorini cartilages. The cuneiform cartilages are called as Risberg cartilages. Cartilages of Risberg, cuneiform cartilages. So cuneiform is paid, corniculate are paid, both are attached to arytenoids. Arytenoids are also paid, they are attached to cricoid. And cricoid is present at the level of C6. And just anteriorly and superiorly, you will find the thyroid. Thyroid is present at the level of C4 and C5. And from that originates the epiglottis, which covers the glottis. The cricoid and the thyroid are entirely made up of hyaline cartilage. Epiglottis, elastic cartilage. Both corniculate, cuneiform cartilage. Cuneiform and corniculate cartilages or elastic cartilages. Arytenoids have both uh, hyaline cartilage at the base and elastic cartilage at the tip. So a total of nine cartilages make up that voice box. Now the vocal cords. The vocal cords are connection between the arytenoids and the thyroid. It is a mucous membrane with elastic ligaments inside a, a infolded elastic membrane with elastic ligaments inside so whenever the air is passing through them so whenever when we are holding our breath so they are in closed state we have got two of them so they, they are closed they are in closed state whenever we are exhaling they, they move apart and when they move apart, when the air is passing through, they vibrate. At the time of phonation, sound production, they are vibrating at a rate of 440 times per second when a person is singing. And the length of the vocal cords, the, these are vocal cords. Vocal cords, they are infolded mucous membrane with elastic ligaments, which are connections between arytenoids and thyroid. And a gap present between these two arytenoids is called as remaglotides. It is called as remaglotides. Actually, above this, above the vocal cords, you will also find a pair of mucous membranes which are little more thicker than these and uh, which also contains elastic ligament inside but when air is passing through they don't vibrate they they are called as false vocal cords they are called false vocal cords ventricular folds or vestibular folds ventricular folds or vestibular folds all same now these are vocal cords. Vocal cords, when air is passing through them, they vibrate, they produce sound. And above the vocal cords, we have a pair of false vocal cords. False vocal cords, they are structurally similar to the true vocal cords, but they are little thicker, but they do not vibrate, they do not produce any sound. Now, length of vocal cords. Now we have an Adam's apple in case of males. There is no Adam's apple. That projection is absent in case of female. That projection, whether it is moving forward, whether it is not moving forward, males and females, conditions. In case of males, it is protruded. The thyroid is protruded forwards, so vocal cords are little longer and thicker. Whereas in case of females, you don't find that Adam's apple. So these are little shorter and thinner. So if it is thinner, there is high-pitched voice, if it is thicker or longer, it is having low pitched voice. In case of children, these are further shorter and you will see a further high pitch voice when compared to women, children will have the highest pitch, right? So that is the structure of larynx.